Well, good morning. This morning we read 1 Kings chapter 18 and through into the verse 13 of chapter 19. And a number of things to pick up from this. First of all, uh, we see King Hezekiah come to the throne and uh, he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. He removed the high places, which his predecessors didn't, uh, smashed up straight sacred stones, removed all idolatry from the land of Israel. He even broke into pieces the bronze snake which had been used in the wilderness. Remember when they were in the wilderness and uh, they'd rebelled against the Lord and the Lord had sent snakes in their midst to bite them. Uh, he told Moses to make a bronze snake and anyone who looked at the bronze snake uh, was saved from the uh, bites of the snakes the Lord had sent among them. It, the, the, the bronze snake in fact was a symbol uh, and a type of Jesus we look to him and live but the bronze snake was the tool that God used it was the instrument God used it wasn't ever to be the object of worship and the people of Israel have made it the object of worship we also must be very careful that we don't make the tools God uses the pastors the church building that we worship in um, the the uh, uh, trappings of our faith we must not make those the objects of worship they are simply things that God uses we are to worship him and him alone and then Ezekiah saw the Lord helping him and working with him and uh, the king of Assyria threatened him and came against him however um, Ezekiah tried to make a deal with the king of Syria Assyria he sent to him the uh, gold from the temple and the silver from the temple and that didn't work the king of Assyria still sent his uh, field officer his general to attack Jerusalem until they siege to it um, we must be careful that we don't try and make deals with the work with this world if we stand opposed to it and trust the Lord for his deliverance making a deal didn't work the King of Assyria was still determined to attack Jerusalem and made all kinds of threats and blasphemies against the Lord. Uh, then King Hezekiah did what he should have done in the first place is he went and sought the Lord through the prophet Isaiah. And the prophet Isaiah told him that uh, the king of Assyria would withdraw his soldiers from around the city and would go back to his own land. And that's what happened. We don't trust doing deals with the world, but we trust in the Lord to deliver us out of our troubles. And uh, I put trust today the Lord will bless you. You'll have a good day and enjoy his blessing in all you do. Amen.